What's up Fear Fam and all you fearless shinobi? In today's video I'm going to show you three online ranked fights as pain and I'm going to mix things up a little bit and do something unique you've never seen me do before. This Naruto player forced me to do some things and to see what those things are you're going to have to watch the entire video. Round one, fight. All right, guys, we got this guy here, Royal Cup Bear. We're going to fight him three different times. Let us go in there. He's spitting that hot fire with the Inferno Fireball. We got him with Deadeer's Clay Bird. That Shinro Tensei didn't quite hit. These fights were back in September. Very nice kunai. So I've gotten a lot better since then. But still, this was me learning and practicing and training and trying to figure out different things about the game. Like that inevitable tier list that I've been working on for like a year that one day I'll pump out, I promise. I have to figure out how the game works and how different characters in it operate and what they have to offer before I do that, before I kind of sign off on that. Alright, this guy's doing really well. We got him in that air combo, knocking Chakra out of him. I can't believe Saratobia actually got me with his fire style jutsu there. Got getting him there with the tilt, but there wasn't enough stun. I tend to fall for the dash cut a lot in this game. A this guy is really, really good with his counters. So there's your first clue. And I think that was the first counter. Unfortunately, those bir birds didn't help me out at all. They didn't hit. All right, I think we beat it out the dash cut there. Nice, we got the Universal Pull to activate, and we lured him in to Deodere's Clay Birds. Hey, that time we adapted, and instead of running into stuff, we hit him with, a with an Almighty Push. Unfortunately, the second one didn't hit because there is a little bit of lag, so I'm not able to respond as well in this fight. But we're going to try our best. There he goes again with that counter. It's absolutely amazing. That's twice he got me in a short period of time. And trust me, he's going to do it to me a lot more. So look out for those moments where he gets those perfect reads on me. It's part of what made me respect him. There's definitely some things about him that I don't like, like dash cut. To be honest, that doesn't bother me that much. I know it bothers a lot of people, right? But there's something... Look at that! Again, look at that perfect read. The guy is really good at watching his opponent. And I actually respect that about him. I respect that about him so much that I will actually... Well, I don't want to ruin it. You'll see. Alright, this is where it starts getting really sweaty, boys. The Saratobi Awakening, that's when I realized, I'm like, oh, like, I kind of knew, like, that I need to watch out for that, but I've never actually had someone go in this hard on the Saratobi Shuriken Shadow Clone Jitsu Awakening. He does it so, so well. I mean, a lot of it is automatic. Probably a really good team would be Six Pass Madara with a Saratobi in Awakening. That would be actually pure insanity. You wouldn't be able to really escape that. Wow. But, um, combining those two Awakenings, you know. There we go, air tilt, and at least we didn't get too stocked. At least we didn't get too stocked. And here he goes. Let's see if I can make a comeback or at least do a little bit better than what I've done. He's really good at using Choji. He's actually really good at using Saratobi as a support and in his awakening. Of course, a lot of that awakening is automatic, but you still have to understand how it works to get the most value out of it. My guard is constantly red and more red than it should be because of the swag chicken or the leg. But it's alright. It's still playable and we're going to try our best. Oh man, I got bodied pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. So this is the second fight. I wanted to see... I've only ever fought him three times, right? At this point in September. So I want to see, can I beat him with the same team? I wanted that... It wasn't a salty rematch, but I wanted the rematch, right? I wanted that rematch to see if I could actually do well. And this guy is actually still bodying me. Nothing has changed. So we're in a bit of predicament. But the really good thing about this situation is the guard break ultimate doesn't do a lot of damage. And I get a lot of time to think about what I'm doing. Because these fights were back to back. And this is now only the second time I'm fighting him. And I'm actually kind of curious. So here I'm doing what I really like. I like doing these, these jails with people on pain or I call them creative jails where I jail them for a period of time and then I release them and I let them go and then I put them back in a jail 
This is like one of my favorite things to do with Pain and probably with Minato as well. Pain is pretty good at it though. So you put them in jail, take them out, put them back in jail. All right, I'm trying to uh, adapting it a little bit. You can see on that back Ninja Dash that it was actually pretty sluggish, but this man has the reads. I cannot take that away from him. You know, he's constantly in the last game and in this game has the perfect reads. And I think the way that he does it is he follows me. He, he keeps a close eye on what I'm doing instead of what he's doing. Hey, we got him there. A lot of good tags there. From the attack down to the explosive tag. But he's really good. Like, like the thing about him that I liked, A, hey, that was really good. Strike back, knock back into Deodera. Setting that up. Now, this was my mistake. I didn't respect the dash cut. I think in all of these fights, something that I can improve on is I didn't, and something that you guys can learn from is I didn't respect the dash cut. Here he goes again with that insane Saratobi Awakening, or Hirazen, the third Hokage. Absolute pure insanity, fam. It is tough. It actually showed me that this is one of the best things in the game, although it is a bit one or two dimensional, meaning, you know, there's certain downsides to picking this Hokage, but. It is pretty strong. That Awakening is really, really good. Alright, so he does have the lead. He has one stock on me. He got one round off. Look at him putting that work in with Choji. Here we go. A little bit of delay. I'm trying to watch him. There he goes. Now, I've mixed him up. He finally messed up on his counter. Before this, every single time pretty much he countered, he got me with 100% accuracy. But now we were in his head and we got the mix up. Alright. He's digging into that health bar. I'm really surprised he got me there with Saratobi again. My guard is really red, but we're managing it. Hey, there we go. Wait, is he gonna sub? Hey, look at that delay. That's okay. Get that chakra. Yes. Yeah, we got him with that one kick sub. And... Yes. We avoided it. Yeah, we got him. We baited him into Deodera's clay, clay Bird. So this is me playing at a different level, right? I kicked it up a couple gears from the last round. Because I actually felt like, oh, I'm actually interested in this person in terms of how he plays. There's, yes, some automatic mechanics with the, with the Shuriken Jitsu of the Third Okage and the Awakening that I don't think is actually that fair. But there's a lot of stuff in this game that isn't fair and balanced. So that doesn't really bother me that much. Despite all that, I just thought, boom, that pain up combo is broken. So, I mean, I do have things in my kit that's also pretty, you know, powerful, we'll say. So, I don't want to nitpick and just pick and choose, oh, this is powerful and this is not, and ignore my stuff. So, what I'm going to do is focus on my stuff. There was my creative jail. Let him go. Extend the creative jail with the shurikens, right? With the Deodera shurikens. And this is it, guys. Am I going to win, or is he going to beat me twice in a row? What's it going to be? Hey, this time I downloaded him. He had all those perfect counters, but I almost never countered him. But that one time I countered him to evade all of his shurikens. Look at that. He's back in the game with his reads, and he got me with another perfect counter. Man, I'm loving these fights. I really wanted to share these with you because I really enjoyed them. And despite the different things that we're both using and the power levels and what may or may not be broken, I actually think this is a pretty fair fight. And I'm having a really, really great time. This time we avoided Choji, we adapted, we went to the side. Ninja moved to the side. I'm knocking on that door, testing his guard. Hit him with that Shinra Tensei. We're in the health lead, but... Yeah, we baited out that dash cut while he was in a vulnerable position, getting that chip damage. Now it's my turn to awaken. I don't know, I might not use it well, I might use it well, let's see what happens. That was a mistake, guys. He might win. Yo, he used both. And it's still... Wow, I did not expect that. Shuriken Jitsus are coming, bro. 
Yo, I just evaded that. Missiles. Let's go. Double almighty push for the win. All right. So we won. 1-1. One, one. This is going to be the tiebreaker, guys. And this time I decided to do something special and unique that you've never seen before. I have about 23-man teams that I almost never play. Now, this is one of the three-man teams right here. I've only This is my first time ever playing it back in September. Since then, I only played it like two, maybe two or three times, not even. So let's see how we do. I'm actually learning on the fly since I don't really play three-man teams that much in this game. In Storm 2, I actually play three-man teams. But in this game, not so much. Let's see what happens. Still having fun. He's got the perfect counter again. Maybe I'm just very predictable. But really, I've played a lot of people, and he's been the most accurate with those counters. I have to give him credit where the credit's due. There we go. Combo cancels for days. I think that was like three different combo cancels. And we end it with a Toby Minefield Jitsu combo cancel. Yo, man, we are dunking on this guy. But, hey, he's got that Star Toby Awakening. Let's see how good it is. Oh, man. Okay, so we did okay. We're doing okay so far. Yeah, that, that is just so good, dude. Look at the damage. Wow. Thank God for that minefield jitsu, bro. More shuriken. That's six of them, bro. He threw six of those awakening actions out. He actually dunked on my health bar. I had a, like a bar and a half on him, and he did like a whole bar or more with just Saratobi Awakening. Pure insanity. It is what it is. It's rank. There's no rules. We got the first round, but I mean, that Shuriken Jitsu did work. Absolute insane amount of work. Crazy. All right, this is it. Look at this. Look at all these substitution traps I created in the high amount of action per minutes that I created in this fearless Taijutsu. Man, that is one for the books. If you go back and rewatch that a few times, you'll learn something new because I've never seen that before ever uh, on YouTube in this game. No one has ever done that before. Here we go. And this is another part of the technique where we throw the chakra shuriken out. It has a triple chakra shuriken, balanced type. Of course, I'm not using it in a super great way or optimal way. And that's because this is my first time using the team. But hey, air tilt, let's go. But it's still pretty interesting to apply mid-range pressure with those Chaka Shurikens. Yeah, this time we got it. So I'm aware that he can counter me, but that's twice now I universal pulled and he didn't counter me. So I'm playing that mind game. I'm like, oh, I know you're really good at counters now. So that's, I think, where the real defeat came from. Let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed most about these fights.